Hello everyone. In this lecture today, we are going to learn about selection sort, uh, right? So we'll see both the selection sort using uh, for ascending and also for descending order. Okay. So yes. So uh, first, let us know how the selection sort is being performed, right? So here the selection, as you know, already sorting is nothing but you will be arranging all the given uh, array values either into ascending or descending order. Okay. Uh, so, if suppose we are taking values like 5, 8, 9, 10, 2, 1. Six values I am taking in the sorting order. Uh, uh, sorry, unsorted order. Okay. So, in this selection order, what you will do is, first you will take the first element. Right. So, you will think that is already in sorted order. And then for the second variable, uh, you will make that as uh, like a variable variable only uh, uh, like some normal integer value that is I can shift that value to the next one uh, in short if you, you can consider it as a pointer okay so that that pointer can be moved from one variable to the other that is from one digit to the other and one is fixed that is first one is fixed from the second one that is this first one will be compared with the second one and if suppose that first value is greater than the second value, then you will swap, okay? Or else you are not going to swap anything. Your fixed value will be like that only. That is first value will be like that only. <coughs> Simply you will increase the variable pointer. That is from second, your pointer will move to the third element, right? So again, you will compare the first. That is what we had fixed, no? So that one you will try to compare with the third element, right? So when you will try to compare, if suppose that third value is uh, lesser than the first, what had what we had fixed. So then what you'll do simply, you will just swap that third value to this fifth one. Okay. So now what will happen? Your variable value is the third one. So now what you'll do again, you will increment the uh, that one to the next element. So now your value will be at the fourth one so again that fourth one also will be compared with the first one if it is smaller the uh, smaller then you will try to swap if it is not smaller then you will leave it like that only and again your variable pointer will move to the fifth position right so again you will try to compare with that first value if it is smaller then you will compare or else you are not uh, sorry you will swap or else you are not going to swap so in the first pass so you will tell this whole uh, uh, for the sorting of that first particular element you will tell it as a first pass right so once this you will reach the end of the array or the end of the elements your first element will be in sorted order according to the condition what you are trying to take that is if you are trying to do in descending order you will uh, give less than or sorry greater than symbol if you are trying to do uh, ascending order you will use a less than symbol right so in the first pass your first element will be sorted so in the next time so the second time what you will do you will make the second element as the fixed value and the third element as a variable value right so now again you will try to compare fixed with the variable so if any uh, smaller values are there, then you will swap or else you are not going to swap the second and third value. Yeah, simply you will increment your variable to the next one. That is your fourth. So again, second and fourth will be compared. If smaller, swapping or else no swapping. Again, your variable will be incremented, right? If smaller, you will swap or else you are not going to swap. So in this format, each and every pass, one one element will be uh will be coming in some particular order depending on the condition what you are trying to give that is less than or greater than okay so that is what actually the logic here is right so how many number of elements are there maximum those many number of passes you require so according to that uh, uh the elements will be so uh, uh the elements will be sorted either in your ascending or into your descending orders Right. So that was the logic actually behind the selection sort. So let us go to go with our program here. So hash include stdio.h and then void main. I had took some array of size 100 and few variables. And uh, I'm asking user to enter number of elements you want. So I'm reading that value into n and I'm trying to print uh, enter percentile d numbers. That is how many numbers if I give n value as 6, then I should enter the 6 values. No? So for that, you are using for loop and uh, you are reading those values into array 8. 
right? So if I give six, six values will be stored in that particular array. Next, what should I do? So next thing is, first we need to fix up those values, right? So as I said, first one should be fixed and the second one will be moving to the next one, right? So how many times each time I have to do? So for that, we are using our for loop. So for i is equals to zero, i less than n. Next, what I'm doing, you are fixing up the position. So position is equals to i, that is nothing but your zeroth element in the array. Next, what should I do? I'm taking another for loop and I'm trying to compare that first one with the second element. So for that reason, how many times I should compare? How many number of elements are there after the first first value? Those many, those many comparisons I need to do, right? And also I need to swap if there is any requirement, right? So for that reason, here what we are taking J is equals to I plus one. So initially our I value is zero. Zero plus one is nothing but your second element. And also you are checking whether J is less than N or no, right? So then you will enter into the for loop. Then what you are trying to do, you are checking out the position. If A of position is, is greater than A of J. So A of zero is greater than A of uh, J is second position. If value is greater, then what you are trying to do, you are making position to J. That is, you wanted to swap now, right? And then you are checking if position is not equals to I, that is, it is not equals to zero at the element, then what you will do, you will try to swap. So as usual, again, you know the swapping value. Swap is equal, that is, temporary variable is equals to A, and A is equals to B, B is equals to temporary variable. So the same routine uh, swapping technique we will use here. Right. Again, you will come back and you will increment your I value. Right. So now your second value will be fixed and then third value will be the variable. So like this, you will take each and every element and then you will try to check. I mean, you will try to compare it, the compare the values and also you will try to swap if required. That is if your uh, uh, position value is greater than the um, next value that is j value then you will try to swap or else you are not going to swap right so like this n number of passes will be done after done i am just trying to print out the value uh, print out that particular array so print of sorted array in descending order i had given so it is ascending order actually uh, right ascending order and then simply you by using the for loop i'm just trying to print out the uh, a array right so let us see this and also we'll check out the uh, descending order also so no errors are there enter number of elements i'm giving six i want values to be like five eight nine uh, ten and then two and then one so see here, the sorted array into ascending order is 1, 2, 5, 8, 9, and 10. So this is what the logic for our ascending order. If you wanted to make that same thing into the descending order, simply you just change the condition over here. That is, so I had took here A of position is, is greater than A of J. Only then I'm swapping, right? So now if I take like this, that is, if I just change the symbol, so when I wanted to swap, if A of position is less than A of J, then you are trying to change position is equals to J. So now what will happen is you'll get the descending order. Okay. So I'm writing here descending order. Right. So descending order. So once again, you'll just uh, compile our code and then we will try to execute it. No errors. Same values, uh, sub 4 I'll give. And uh, 32, 22, and 50, uh, sorry, 54, and finally 1. See here, now we got it in the descending order. A simple logic uh, in the beginning, if the first value is greater than the second value, you are swapping. In the descending order, what you will do, if it is not, if it is greater, if it is less than, you will swap. Or else we're not going to swap. Okay. So this is what we are trying to do in our uh, uh, selection sort. Okay. So hope this uh, video is clear for everyone. Thank you all.